Where's Ryan? Ryan? Right. Right. He is a war criminal. And the thing is, I know war. I'm a veteran. I'm a decorated veteran of the U.S. Army and is betraying everything America stood for and the world stood for. Good. I think he is America's Hitler. Here because our country has shamefully invited a war criminal who also happens to be the president of the United States to come to our soil and justify his crimes. I think instead of welcoming George Bush, we should be uh, arresting him and uh, putting him on a trial for his crimes. the U.S. consulate lives in the city of Vancouver. Yeah. And I want to thank you to this rally in opposition to the war criminal George Bush that arrived in Canada today. And as some of you may have heard, who are at the B.C. Fed convention this morning in British Columbia Supreme Court, Gail Davidson, with Lawyers Against the War, laid formal criminal charges against George W. Bush. Criminal Code of Canada, which dovetails with international law, for the crime of counseling, abetting, and aiding torture. And we're here to, to show our outrage with our hearts and our thoughts that we're with the fairness of people of the world and opposed to war as a means to solution. We stand here today representing the vast majority of Canadian people vast majority of people around the world who say to George Bush, get out of Iraq, the war will not work. George Bush is doing nothing. He is telling a bet, he's doing nothing for safety and security in the world. He is telling all of us a huge lie. It started with the lie which said there was weapons of mass destruction. Where are they? They haven't found one of them. Not one of them. They wanted a war for political reasons, and thousands of human beings are dying as a result, and they don't need to. There is only one answer, and that answer is for the Americans to get out of Iraq and go home. It will take all of us around the world to find the peace that's necessary. A peace in the Middle East that allows the Palestinians to have a homeland. A peace in Africa that allows people to have dignity and a way in which we can share the wealth of this world so we end poverty, despair, and oppression. That's the war we want. We want a war on poverty, not a war on people. This unjust, unnecessary war that was also declared un illegal by the um, Secretary General Kofi Annan has killed over 100,000 Iraqi people. At least 1,100 U.S. Marines have gone and died, and these are the poor people that have been um, conscripted by bribery, telling them that they pay for their um, education. So these are the young, poor people that are going over there to die. And then in Fallujah, the most criminal um, things that they have done there. First they went, they've been bombarding them for months now, and in this latest onslaught, they would not allow water to be taken in by the Red Cross. They had cut off the water. They had bombed the hospitals. They had actually bombed doctors. And they had gone into the hospitals and arrested people that were sick in there in case they may be insurgents. And reports we're getting out of there now is that there's at least 6,000 bodies lying around there 
They, the people haven't been able to go out and uh, get their bodies back into their houses because of all the snipers. And bodies are just being pushed into the Euphrates River. This is extraordinarily criminal actions. And George Bush should not be allowed into Canada. We do not allow criminals of this uh, enormous proportions. Welcome in Canada. We don't like your military might or your buddies who profit from warfare. How can you assume this is right? We are Canadians. We know that people do not want war. We are Canadian. Peace is what we stand for. Don't bring us your missile defense shield. Don't justify bombing Iraq. We see through your flimsy excuses. It's praise and compassion you love. We're here today at the U.S. Consulate in Vancouver because our leaders in Ottawa in inviting George Bush to Canada have committed a grave breach of trust against the Canadian people. And they've poured salt over the wounds of the people of Iraq for welcoming this man and legitimizing what he's done to them and what he continues to do to them. Why do we harm it? Our leaders tell us that we need to mend fences with this man over the war on Iraq, when what we want is to have him exposed and denounced as the murdering war criminal that he is. and not a word of outcry from our government. A hundred thousand deaths and they want to talk about fence mending. They also tell us that we should really be polite and respectful to President Bush because after all, the U.S. is our most important trading partner. But under that kind of logic, we could expect that they'd have invited Hitler for dinner if they thought it would be good for business. twisted logic. It's a logic devoid of any morality or decency, and it's a logic we won't accept. And we never will accept a logic that values profit above the lives of our fellow human beings. Theirs are not the values of Canadians, and our leaders would do well to realize that they will only remain our leaders as long as they represent our values. words and that actions speak louder than words. So it's time for us to send a clear and unambiguous message to our so-called leaders in Ottawa, to the war criminals in Washington, and to the people of Iraq. Let's show them all exactly what Canadians think of George Bush and his government's murderous pursuit of empire.